Hi there, Linda Goodall here. Custom basting blocks are the easiest thing you can do in digitizing. Now some programs have an instant basting box feature and many machines have a basting box feature. My multi-needle doesn't have a basting feature and neither did the software I've used for most of the last 25 years, so I typically just digitize my own. It's not hard and the advantage is I can customize the basting shape. This design was stitched on a bag and you can see that I have a basting shape that follows the outline of my design. If I scroll out a bit, you can see that there's also this guide up here. Now a lot of times I do use basting stitches to stitch directly on the stabilizer as a placement. And this was the top edge of my bag. So I could stitch this on the stabilizer, line up my bag, and then I did another basting stitch that actually went underneath here so it didn't damage my bag in any way. In this video, I'll show you three ways to create a basting stitch, one of which even works in Composer. So let's do that one first. This design is fairly rectangular, and depending on what and how I'll be stitching it, I might just use a simple rectangle. I'm in Digitizer. If you have Composer, you won't have any of the digitizing tools. Let's do the Composer version first. So go to the Design Library, and in your Hatch folder, in Designs, in Shapes, you'll have these. And you might be thinking, what in the world would I do with those? Well, I'll show you. Open up the square, and I'm going to change it to an outline. Change it to a single run. Change it to a longer stitch, we'll say 4.5. I usually go 4 or 4.5. I find that works pretty well. And go to the Stitching tab, and set your connectors if you want to. Then you'll just do a Save As, and give it a name. And now we have it. So now you can just open this up and use it. So I'll copy it, paste it. There it is. Now I just need to do a little resizing. And I'll scroll down to the bottom of my list and move it to the top. Then I can change its color to anything I want. There's the basting box. Now if you have a digitizer, we'll go to the Digitize Toolbox and we'll select the rectangle shape. Now we do have all these extra shapes in here, but I'll show you a different way for working with a more customized shape. So I want to have an outline, change it to a run, click and drag. With it selected, I'll change the stitch length, go to the Stitching tab, and set any ties if I want to. So with it selected, I'll change the color and then move it to the top. There's my basting box. Now a rectangle or a square may not always be really secure. So obviously I can make this a little tighter, but if I'm sewing on something really stretchy, this space in here isn't secured very well and this space over here might not be secured very well. Here's another design where that's more evident. So if I put a rectangle around here, this space in here is not going to be secured. So here's an even better way to make a custom basting box. So I'll select the design, Control A, and I'm going to go to the Create Layouts Toolbox, scroll down here to Create Outlines and Offsets, Uncheck Object Outlines, check Offset Outlines, and you can do 2 or maybe 1.5. We only need one. We want a single run. Pick a color. I'll just keep it a black. You want to make sure that it goes around the whole shape. Select a corner option. This one is fine. I'm not going to do include holes because I don't want anything in here. Now if I had a big wreath and it was pretty solid, I might do include holes so that I could get that inside a little bit more secure, but we'll leave that turned off and click OK. How about that for a custom basting stitch? So we'll select it, set the stitch length, 4.5, send it to the back, 
and set any tie stitches if you need to. Now, when that is so quick and easy, once you know the steps of working with the Create Outlines and Offsets toolbox, this is so easy to do that it's even faster than the other two methods we started out with, and it's more secure. So those are three ways that you can create custom basting boxes or basting outlines in Hatch, in both Composer and Digitizer. Please like and subscribe. Be sure to check the little bell to be notified of new videos, and do leave a comment. I made this video because of a comment. Thanks for watching.